Hello everyone, this is Hoda Ganji. I'm a professor at the George Brown College and in this video I'm going to tell you what is ARC 3016 about. So ARC 3016 or Concentrations in Digital Technologies 2 is a course developed and presented for the first time in winter 2021 to the third year students in the Architectural Technology and Interior Design Technology programs in the George Brown College. Through hand-on labs and in-class tutorials, this course introduces the students to emerging technologies, including advanced 3D modeling software such as Rhinoceros and Grasshopper, as well as advanced plugins and packages introduced to the current software. We start by creating 2D drawings in Rhinoceros, uh, selecting and editing lines and curves, working with different uh, visual styles as well as defining dimension styles. We also talk about how to add AutoCAD shortcuts or any customized shortcuts into Rhino so Rhino commands also knows them. Next, we continue with 3D modeling, creating walls, doors, windows, roof, floor, and so on. Next, we talk about presentation techniques in Rhinoceros. We talk about material, lighting, adding objects, background, how to adjust the exposure, and how to take exterior and interior renders both daytime and nighttime. In projects one and two, the students model and present a small residential building. We also briefly introduce V-Ray for Rhino. On the second half of the semester, we talk about Grasshopper, which is a plugin of Rhinoceros that helps us with parametric design. On Project 3, students design a pavilion. We also introduced Launchbox, which is an app for Grasshopper that you can download and install from foodforrhino.com, which helps us to create different panels. Twinmotion for Rhinoceros is introduced briefly. You can use Twinmotion for rendering and creating videos. We further talk about Galapagos, uh, which is used for design optimization in Grasshopper. As an example, we use Galapagos to find the optimum location for the printers in an office to minimize the distances from the workstations to the printer. As for project four, we use Grasshopper uh, as well as Launchbox to design a vertical surface. Uh, the option one is to create a set of shelves. Option two is to create a facade design.
I would like to thank Dr. Ian McNabb, Pietro Ferrari, and V. Sarobi, and all the students whose projects were featured in this video. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to send an email to me at hoda.ganji at